Hi there. Okay, look, I thought it'd be a good idea to talk about what the Phoenix Protocol provides in relationship to the metabolic rates and states in human physiology. Now, when you think about it, there's actually two metabolic states, and we see this evidenced in the dry fasting protocols. One is eating all the time. By eating all the time, you're processing materials, you're producing glycated end products, okay, that get stored in the body because there's no way for the body to really get rid of it normally. That's really how it works. So, and there's another process, another metabolic process called not eating. You see, this is what's been missed. What's been missed is the idea that <laughs> when you eat, you do all this stuff. You exercise, you eat food, you produce all this stuff, and it ends up stored in who knows where in the body and fat cells and tissues and all these toxins that build up over time. And believe me, it's these toxins that build up that you'll see on day eight, where you see this and this coming out of your body, that shows that there are things that normal detoxification protocols while you're eating all the time don't really work. Otherwise, that stuff would be coming out of your body. And it doesn't, unless you drive fast. So when you look at it this way, there's a situation where your body processes material and produces these toxins that are stored in the body. Dry fasting opens up all that cellular metabolism and starts cleaning all that stuff out and it comes out. So what happens if you can every now and then, like twice a year, which is what the Phoenix Protocol talks about, you can get rid of these toxins? Gee, could that decrease the effects of aging? I think it can. In fact, when you look at what's happening, much like the filter on your air conditioning system or the filter on your car, and if the filter gets too plugged, the car doesn't work. See where I'm going with this? So if the filter doesn't, doesn't get cleaned, that's it. Buy a new car or clean the filter. I mean, really, that's all it is. You end up with a situation where the body has two metabolic states, an eating state and a non-eating state. The eating state, you do all this stuff, it creates all this debris, all this waste. The non-eating state, you don't do anything. You don't drink, you don't eat, you just relax. Breathe, do a little walking, that's about it. But essentially your body starts dumping out all the toxins, fixing all the cells, fixing all the organelles in the cells, repairing the process of, of uh, removing toxic waste through the lymphatic system that you can't get if you drink water. You can't get if you do exercise. You can't get if you do intermittent fasting. You can't get these things. So really what we're talking about here is the Phoenix Protocol is a, is a system of cleaning out the system. That's what the Phoenix Protocol block represents. There's another block that I'm working on in the second book. It's called Functional Immortality or perpetual neogenesis, making the new. During the eating phase, you have to do specific things to improve yourself and keep it improved until you dry fast again. The less damage you do and the less toxic waste you produce over here, the less waste has to be processed with the dry fasting protocol and that more functional repair can happen to all the cells and the systems and all the body. And that's where we are. The second book is going to be how to conduct your life for six months prior to a dry fast. Six months, another dry fast. Because here's how to think about this. When you think about aging and what happens when you age is that suddenly your skin changes texture, you get tired, you get all these things happening. At the same time, you're building up all these toxic wastes. They keep coming up and up and up and up and up until finally your body can't deal with it and out you go. So what we're talking about here with the, the plan, you know, stay with the plan. You know, that's about as political as I'm going to get here. Because this whole website, this whole movement is not about what's happening in the normal world. Why? Because the normal world doesn't know what we know. And the normal world is going to keep going along and making mistakes and all that stuff while we live past that. There's every possibility, and I've done the mathematical calculation, that if you do this every few years and you go through these systems of repairing tissue, building back muscle, building back bone, building back your mitochondria, and then stopping for two weeks to do a week of dry fasting, a week of recovery, and then going back to normal living, 
you end up reduce, reducing your load of these death-creating toxics that are sitting in your cells that only get released if you do a dry fast. And so if you think about it that way, then, gee, you're building up these toxins. What happens to your skin? See, I'm 70, 69 actually. I'll be 70 next year. And the skin is a reflection of what's happening inside because it's the biggest organ on your body. And I have some age spots. But my hair is growing like crazy now. My nails grow so fast in two weeks I have to cut them. And I see huge improvements in exercise strength abilities, which is what I'm working on in the second book. The second book is about how to build your body back. Because the biggest problem is sarcopenia, the loss of muscle tissue, the loss of strength. And the problem with that is, of course, the loss of bone strength, osteoporosis. Why does that occur? Well, could be the toxins, but essentially you don't have muscles. You have to have stress. Stress I've talked about in this book and in the second book. Stress is what makes us strong. Not making things easier, that makes us weak. We can see that all the time in everything that we've done in society. The whole idea of convenience is a huge trap, thinking that, Gee, if I just make it easier, it'll be greater. No, you must stress yourself. That's the species we are. That's the monkey we are. We're the monkey that survived glaciers. We're the monkey that survived droughts, global droughts. We're the monkeys that started eating meat early on to grow our grain, brain capacity. That's why other, all the other apes have a lower cranial and intracranial capacity because all they eat is plants. Plants don't provide the stuff you need to grow big brains. In fact, it's because we're an omnivore. We're an apex omnivore predator. We eat everything. There's nothing we can't eat. We have these teeth for ripping stuff up and these teeth for grinding stuff up. We're not just for animals. We're not just for, for meat. We're for everything. We have every opportunity to last as long as we possibly can if we manage these two metabolic systems, eating and not eating. Eating, you build yourself up, and that's what the second book's going to be about. How to get yourself strong and young again in your strength. And the other part where you don't eat, where you clean all the debris out from becoming strong. That's what was missed. You see, that's what has been missed. All these people and all these, all these health scientists think that, oh, if we just do this or that or eat this or that, prevent this or that and have an you know, organic food and non-GMO, which I do subscribe to, by the way, that it'll help everything. And actually, all it does is help you live a little healthier before you die. So you don't suffer so much till the end. But by never taking the toxins out, you never get that extension lifespan. And that's what I'm talking about here. If you de decrease the, the degree of toxic waste inside your body while cleaning out your filter, or cleaning out the air filter in your car. How much better does it work? Does it stall? No, it works great. Same thing with you. You need to clean out the filters. And the way to do it is dry fasting. And you don't have to do it often, twice a year. For 14 days, then the rest of the year, you just end up building yourself up and enjoying life. And basically, if you want to do it this way, you can eat whatever you want. You can have all your bad habits, cabalistic problems, and then six months later, you get them all taken care of, you get rid of all the toxins, you get all the damage repaired, and you can start on your bad habits again. Again, But if you manage your systems, if you manage your metabolic systems, eating, not eating, then who knows how long we can last. This is what this whole program is all about. I am so proud of you guys that have gone through this, the protocol, have done the seven-day dry fast, and see the benefits. I have not had one person call me back and say it didn't work. Everybody that reads the book, finds my website, or finds my email in the book, contacts me and says, good Lord, everything's been changed. I've lost weight. I feel better. I've done all these things. Universally, that's the unanimous decision that dry fasting works. So look, I'm really happy you've done what you've done. Uh, the big message today is smile. Smiling creates chemicals that make you happy all the time, even up here when you're sad. In fact, if you're upset or you're sad, try smiling. Try going, oh, God, okay, whatever, do your thing, and smile about it, and realize everything ends, it can't rain every day, and that you got to be silly, you got to be happy. So happiness is the key, and managing your metabolisms is the other part of it. Anyway, look, 
I'll be talking to you soon. I thought I'd better throw a video up because I'm really appreciative of the emails you've sent me and some of them are just wonderful. They, they, they give an emotional response to what I've been able to try to do. You're proving to me that this is what my goal is successful in, helping you. This is all it's about. So look, hang tough, hold fast, and <laughs> trust the plan. Okay? So I'll talk to you soon. Have a great day.